Hi, I am Popo from Storm Riders Virtual Squadron, and in this short video, I would like to demonstrate to you how to make a ramp start in Falcon BMS version 4.33. This is not going to be an in depth tutorial, just a quick presentation of 42 actions that you need to perform to have fully functional and combat ready plane. I will not follow any real life checklist, and during this short video, I will violate every existing health and safety recommendation. After all, we don't have to worry about plane's engine exploding, do we? Step 1. Let's start the engine. Double click the battery switch, right click the starter and move the throttle a little bit. Now go over to right panel, set INS knob to align and flip those 6 switches. There is another knob hidden here that you need to click or simply use key command. Set these 4 switches to on position and use your mouse scroll to increase the brightness on the heads-up display. Now go over to countermeasures panel, flip all those switches and set knob to desired position. I usually set it to semi. There is RWR, a power button hidden behind this yellow knob that you need to press. No switch radio knob to both and increase the volumes for all radio receivers. There are last two switches on the left panel that you need to set. By now our engine should be at about 20%. Use move a throttle a little bit forward and either press Alt I, Alt India or simply use the handle visible on the throttle. Common name should be visible in the lower right corner of this video. It is a good time to engage nose wheel steering and make sure that the green light on to the right of the HUD is on. Now let's close the canopy and arm an injection seat. On the right MFD Select DTA, which is OSB 14, and then press load OSB 3. Press master caution and then fault acknowledge twice to reset existing error notifications. I now radio tower to have my chocks removed and I turn down radio so the lady from the tower will not bother me for the rest of this video. And of course I forgot about the brakes. We are now one click away from having an operational plane. But ladies and gentlemen, no. We wait. We wait because INS, which is Inertial Navigation System, need to align. Depending on the version of our F-16, it can take anywhere from 4 to 8 minutes. Use this time to enter mission data, set bingo values, modify data link values, say goodbye to your wife or simply get, grab a beer. Flashing a line word in lower left part of our HUD will notify that the process is complete. Now we go back to INS knob on the right panel and set it to nav position. We are now good to go. I am aware that this video is barely scratching surface of a complex problem that operating modern jet is. There are many more things that aspiring virtual pilot needs to know, like external lightning, recording ACME and so on. But they are out of scope of this tutorial. If you enjoyed my concept of making short single subject tutorials, then please subscribe, more of them are coming. In the meantime, feel free to check out other videos that are available on our channel. If you want to fly with us, or against us, contact us and we will arrange something. Popo, over and out.